please be for on YouTube channel. You know, I can really tell it's gonna be a freedom filled day. <laughs> Hell yeah. Woo! Hell yeah. You guys, you guys ready to see some bald eagles? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, guys, so Leroy is chilling. He is ready to rip. We got him chilling back here, just ice down, ready to go. It should be about an hour until we go, but we checked the oil, checked everything over. Our spare diff is in there, so we're all good to go there. Should be able to rip this thing pretty hard today. I don't want to break it, but I do want to go really, really fast. It'd be amazing if we got a 490 and eighth today. I think that's a reach, but I like to set my goals high and we'll see what we can do. We went 787 in our first round qualifying. Uh, we missed our second round qualifying because we broke, and uh, I'd love to see a 770 today. I'd really love to see it, or faster, you never know. So we're gonna head up there right now and go make a rip. All right, guys, we're going up for round one. <laughs> or, I mean, <laughs> round three qualifying today, but this is uh, our first pass of the day. Fresh dip, uh, and we should get three runs today, so hopefully this goes smoothly. Let's do it. <laughs> Got my new head song. I'm pretty excited. Who's the stick? It's some. We got a ringer driver. So basically what happened is we made so much boost that it hit my safety setting that's set at 35 pounds. At least that's what I think happened. And I felt the car nose down real hard. Damn. We were on a rip. All right, it wasn't that good of a rip. Not that bad about it now. Damn, that was a 1460 foot. That was a one four. It felt faster, so it really wasn't that much of a wasted pass. Damn. See the mile an hour loss there? Boost cut. Boost cut, dude. You were on the button too much, weren't you? I was on the button. I think I just had the boost safety set a little too low, but I haven't set it. I haven't set it 35, so. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a lot what of James boost, was saying but with too. With the cool, cool air, you know, it's cold out here. It could have just made it. Yeah. Damn, but. I'm not that disappointed because it's only a 1460 foot. And uh, I don't know. I could feel it was just riding the top of the tire the whole way out, but I it still felt fast enough that I hit the button. 
but it's not like it was a wasted pass, but it did do 148 in the eighth. Yeah. So <laughs> it's making some steam when I'm on that button, brother. One guy after you went 215 at 742, so, you know, wow. we're, our class is pretty serious. Was it the Mustang with the flames on I didn't see what car it was. Oh, my god. They were just gosh, ripping. Dude, this class is insane. Yeah. <laughs> and those are not going to cut it. No. Dude, it was making steam, bro. When I hit the button in the cold air, it was riding. I was excited. I was like, this is going to be 185. She made all the boosts she could. Damn. All right. Well, guys, we got to go back up. We tried some higher tire pressure on that pass. I don't think it worked. It didn't tire shake, which is good, which, you know, our diff can't have tire shake. So I think we'll go a little bit lower, try and get it to work with that. But if we go too low, it'll tire shake. It, it'll wad up the tire, basically square it up. We don't want that to happen, so we'll check the logs and go back out. All right, guys, so I'm trying to show you as many logs as I can to get you guys really into what we have going on when something like this happens with Leroy. So you can see here this purple line. I'll actually get some stuff out of your way for you. All right, guys, so here's the deal. You can see here this purple line that's jumping all over the place. That is our boost. Now, in my tune-up, I had, I had a safety set up that if the car goes over 35 pounds of boost, it reverts the boost controller to wastegate pressure, which is about 10 pounds. So you can see right here in first gear, I was throttling it. That green line is my throttle going up and down. And you can see the boost is kind of rising and dropping with it, but then the tire started to hook up. So the boost is rising. I shift to second, the boost is rising more. So at the top of second gear right there, we're at 23.9 pounds of boost. Then it runs through third, boost is rising. You can see right when I got into third gear, see the boost scramble light comes on. So right about there, I went on the button. You see the boost rising pretty fast. Gets all the way to 30 pounds of boost right here. And then when I went on my three, four shift, we had a backfire and it spikes the boost. So we go from 30 pounds right there to the tip of this peak. And that is 38.2 pounds. Now it only showed 38 pounds on the map sensor for two tenths of a second, but because it saw that value over 35 pounds of boost, it reverted the car back to wastegate pressure as a safety that I had put in there. So you can see the boost when I go into fourth gear is holding for just a split second. And then the boost safety kicks on, drops us down to 10.5 pounds of boost out the big end and I lifted right about here, and that's where we lost our mile an hour. We went 148 miles an hour to the eighth mile. That's the fastest eighth mile mile per hour we've yeah. ever had. And it's it just happened to do that. It probably would have gone a, a high 780 or a low 790 on that rip had that not happened, but a little backfire like that is not good. So we went ahead and changed the boost safety. So if it sees, and I'll just show you guys. So we changed our boost safety so that if it sees over 40 pounds of boost for at least one second, then it reverts to wastegate. So even if we have a spike that goes up over 40 for a split second, it won't revert to wastegate. It has to see it for over a second. I've never had this problem before, so we're learning as we go. And now we should be good for our next rip. The only other things we did was we turned down the launching RPM, 100 RPM, to try and get the tire to grab before the car leaves. It seems that we're just blowing the tire off the line right away. And then we added boost in uh, second, third, and fourth gear. Plus I still have the bald eagle button. So if I get it to leave good, it's gonna go fast. It's gonna go really fast. So the track's only getting better right now but the air is getting warmer. So it'll probably make a little bit less boost. That's why we added some to the boost controller. So just get out here in a little bit and give it all we got. All right guys, this is Boo Boo. Out of the boo. Hold on baby. Hey, hold on baby. Leroy, clean it. That's Leroy, I'm clean it. Oh, you clean it. So we got Boo Boo out here, bro. Tell us, tell them what's going down right now. Man, we out here, man. I had I seen Leroy Cletus or somebody. Somebody was telling me about Cletus and Leroy. Yeah. Man, that was my buddy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about it. Man, Cletus. 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 Leroy. Yeah. Man, I knew he got two cojones. So obviously he got to be doing something. Then I looked around and said, damn, who's all these people around the big cojones? You know what I'm saying? And then he said, Leroy. Leroy the Savage, bro. See, you keep, you keep killing me with these names, man. So, you clean. I'm clean. Man, obviously, Cleve has got to be a real man. You feel me, man? Yeah. So, Leroy got to be the shit. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't number bars. He's fast. Yeah, he's fast. 
Leroy. I've never heard of him. My buddies are. Oh man, Leroy Cletus. I heard. Who the fuck is Leroy and Cletus? <laughs> <laughs> I know one thing. I like them goddamn names though. I know them goddamn names. But end of the day, man. Um, Cletus. Yup. You're doing it. He's a boo. The what? The people's champ. Yeah. All right, all right. But, but good to meet you. Hey, good to meet you, bro. Good good man. We're about to make a rip. I want to see you rip. I got man, you. Well, if you're going to do that, then guess what oh. I'm going to do? Oh, oh, oh dang. Ooh, hey, fans hey. over Baghdad. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look, I got this for you. Hey, look, I'm going to bet some money on you, click, click. Ooh. <laughs> In qualifying? No, you're betting on Leroy. Oh, and whenever I win, guess what? What? You get half. Oh, I get and you half. Don't, and you don't need to put no money up. I get a cut. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So All right, bro. Man. Hey, <laughs> new friend. All right. Bobo out here. Out here. Out here, bro. Representing Cletus. Hey. <laughs> Like what? Yeah. Champ! Like the people's champ. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro, man. Good you, to meet y'all, man. man. Damn. <laughs> well, you know, I got a new friend, right? Yep, yep. New got friend, a new friend. Bro. So yeah. I got, love new friends. Great friends. You got two of them. Yeah. You got that and Leroy. Yeah, yeah, got I got two friends. Man, that mother got two cojones. How you gonna leave Leroy out of it? <laughs> All right, bro. I let's think it's my Let's go make a rip. Go make a rip? Yep, yep. Yeah. Tell me something. Thank you, my man. Here we go, guys. We've been waiting all day to make our fourth qualifying run. And it's dark, as you can see. And it's really cold. The density altitude is really good. Meaning we can make a lot of power in this cold weather. We got Leroy turned out pretty good. I don't know what else to tell you. It's gonna go fast. qualified like number 15 but Chevy it was Brother. but it was such good weather that would have been the past the track a bit hard the track was good like if it would have rolled out past that where it broke that would have been a sick pass oh, I'm heartbroken that's what it is bro so let's head back to the pit and figure out what we got to do
it's frustrating because we put sick built parts in it and RPM builds them to such a good level. None of our parts break, but the stock case that we have to use from the GM, you know, originally it comes in these cars, just cannot handle the torque. And a bald eagle. We even turned it down on that, but the track was super tight and yeah. <laughs> first gear was turned down from previously today. And I had so much power in it in second, third, and fourth. That, I mean, literally if it hooked, if it left with that much bite, it would have been like a 750. It would have been insane. Dang. So it's frustrating, but we got to roll with the punches as always and uh, pull this dip out, assess the damage, and try and get something back together. Well, the case didn't fail in the back this time. It's it failed the on the side. That's good though. That tells us it's not that mount. Like it didn't break the same way, you know, totally different than the last couple. It's weird because it's broken differently in literally every pass. So, all right, I can't really get you guys any good angles. We just got to get it off and then we'll show you what's going on. We're back with a new and improved breakage on the rear diff. This time we didn't go for the back or the underside. Oh gosh. Oh my Lanta. We didn't go for the back or the underside. We went with the full on side crack on this one all the way down the side of the case. Oh, the bottom is, oh no, oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Well dang, okay. That, uh, we got a people. That's, that's the best one we've done yet. Yeah, we got a people. Dude, these things, we have to go to RPM six, uh, C6 diff. Yes. This is it, bro. Once we leave this event, this is it for C5 diffs. I'm gonna do the upgrade. We're gonna get that C6 diff. Yeah, we we'll never it. have this problem again, brother. Thank the Lord. We'll see what our next weak point is after that, but damn. All right, let's get it out. Oh, <laughs> oh you got the races oh, out. Two pieces. <laughs> All right, well, the diff is actually probably uh, in the ship. Oh no. It looks like it got the ring gear and the pinion on this. No, we got the gear and the pinion. Yeah, you can see see peek through there. Oh, damn. You can see it's chewed up. You have to take that back housing off. It goes right under that little bar. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Fuel on. All right guys, so our first case was the one from Send It Steve. This is another used case that we got through RPM. And this is a case that I got off of eBay. So we're moving on to number three here. We're gonna have to use a stock gear that's in this thing and use the center section from this guy. And hopefully we can piece something together. All right guys, check it out. This is our center section with the stock gear and pinion that came in this diff and it luckily is a 342 which is what we always run good old gm case going right back in leroy uh, everything actually fit up pretty good the shims that were on the stock side cases fit perfect so we had a good mesh and everything we didn't have any of the mesh paint to check it but we're giving it the old eyeball we're gonna see if we can make it through tomorrow uh, it all feels really tight and really nice actually. We already found a little break in this case. It's not a crack, but just a little chunk broke off like a corner inside the case. So that's not a good sign. We're really gonna have to take it easy on this thing tomorrow. And by take it easy, I mean 190 and a quarter. So <laughs> we're gonna do it. Oh, oh, there, we oh. there we go. Hey. There we go. Hey. There we go. Oh, yeah. Media. All right. She's in, so we'll tighten up the brace, put the cradle back on, and freaking call it a night. All right, do it. Do it. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Oh, it's rolling away. <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah, dude. E-brake cables are on. Yeah, e-brake cables are good. We got our crowd of four is still here. We started with a lot, but these guys hung around. Let's make it happen. Easy out the hole. Rip it down. It. Oh, we missed. Easy out the hole. Slip rip it, it down the. 40 pounds on. <laughs> Ready to do this? Yeah, let's do it. All right, easy out the hole, and then I'm gonna ride. Yes. We'll go for it, baby. I like this. All right, guys, well, we just got super hyped up, drove up there, and then some guy freaking oiled down the whole track, and there's. He went from one lane to the other with oil down the whole track. They're saying with like a half hour left in the night. So no more runs for the night. They're shutting it down because they're gonna be cleaning up for a while. So we drove Leroy to and from the lanes. He sounds absolutely perfect. The diff is, it's on point, if not even better than 
before but that stock gear it's gonna have a hard time holding up tomorrow but you know what we'll just be a little bit nice to it on the leave and then we'll we'll get in the power through the rest of the gears it's gonna be it for today guys i know it's like kind of a repeat of yesterday's video made a hit broke next hit fix it go up to run and they didn't let us run but whatever this is how racing goes you break stuff you gotta roll with the punches and we got a good team here yeah. So we'll be back in the morning. We're in eliminations because we did qualify, which yeah, in and of itself is a win. A lot of people were counting us out for even freaking qualifying. So we showed up, qualified, I think 15th or 16th. We might've gotten bumped during that round if some people went faster than us, but we didn't really pay attention to it because we were fixing the car. So we'll find out in the morning. We'll show you guys the ladder and everything. But for now, thanks for watching Do It For Dale. We will see you later.